Okay. So I'm about to turn this off. Yes, I'm going to be watching the game tonight. You said, but wait. What? How are you going to watch the game? But Yvette's coming on tonight, too. Well, I'm just going to have to uh, catch Yvette on the rebound, as we, say, as we used to say in the thing. It's the thing I got in uh, some Whole Foods in uh, Chicago. I'm back, by the way. I just got in, you know, from, uh, well, St. Louis, Chicago, I'm out here. It's called Co Five, Coco Fives Clean Sports Hydration. Sports, Get a sports hydration. I'm watching sports tonight. You're going to say, wait a second. The reason why I got this, actually, because it says something about um, the hydration or whatever have you. But it also says, there we go, uh, natural flavors and colors. Yes, I don't know about all that stuff. Right, no artificial uh, dyes. That's good, and or high fructose corn syrup. That's the most important thing. Look, when you look at your stuff, just make sure you ain't got no fructose corn syrup. Right, right? a great taste in hydration. Five essential electrolytes: uh, calcium, sodium, chloride, uh, potassium, magnesium. Anyway, so it's water, coconut water, and it um, tastes all right. I like that. Oh. Hey, we need some lights. Wait, we need some lights. I need my glasses. I just said, well, why are you watching sports? Aren't you with the Colin Kaepernick? I'm, I'm, I'm with Colin, you know, Colin Kaepernick. I mean, his strategy and tactics are a little bit off. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have worn a Kinte thing. What I would have done is I would have put all the teams, all the NFL teams on the T-shirt. I mean, you're going for a job. You know, it's just not the movement thing. You're not showing up for a movement thing. You're showing up for a job. That's that's my take, okay? I'm, again, I'm with the brother, but, you know, strategy and tactics, man. You gotta, you gotta get a better team around you, you know, because you're working for somebody, or you're trying to work for. Or you, I don't want you work for anywhere. I want you to get no concussion. Wait, wait, I gotta get some back here. I gotta get my lights. I love doing that. Anyway, uh, so the football game is gonna start. I gotta watch. Oh, forget the football game. Because uh, of Lamar Jackson, you know the Ravens. Actually, I like the Ravens when they first came on the scene. This is a long time ago, you know what I mean. But look, you say, "Well, uh, why are you watching sports?" Well, first of all, I was here in sports, but here's what I'm actually doing. I think I told some of y'all this before. I'm, um, as you may know, may and may not, I write, I write poetry. I don't call myself a poet. Call myself a wordsmith. But there's some exercise I always do. Like I'll take a, well, I'll take what this exercise is. Um, I'm doing this exercise now. Now, as you know, the, the, the Baltimore Ravens are named after Edgar Allan Poe because he was a Baltimore son. He died in Baltimore, whatever area. You know, even though he spent uh, time in uh, New York. Uh, and uh, he's quite an extraordinary cat. In fact, his short story, a rather long short story, I have the old book, a novella, whatever it is. I've got to get that because I want to I want to read it. I was just at the, in fact, I was at, just at the American Writers Museum in Chicago. And they have a really good, but it's just the usual writers, you know, they, they ain't got nobody, you know, they ain't got no Henry Dumas, they ain't got no black writers kind of thing, you know. Yeah. I didn't even see Amiri Barak, I guess he should be there someplace, I'm sure. But anyway, they got the regular, regular people, you know, at least they got Gwendolyn Brooks, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they get, you know, on, you know, they got the people, you know, Joel Neal Hurston, they got the people, you know, but no Ann P. Reed. Anyway, the point is, they had a good post po section. It's a good interactive thing. It's, it's fun. I mean, if you're a regular person, if you're not really doing the black light thing. Anyway, so I had copied out, where's the thing? I had copied out um, oh, the Edgar Allan Poe poem, you know? And what I'm doing is I am actually almost like line for line. I'm writing a homage to the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson, but Baltimore Ravens is going to be long, right? And, but I'm going to take the rest of the season. I'm, I'm doing a little bit at a time. If I see a game or I see some highlights, something like that, excuse me, I'll drop this on the, on the floor. And um, so that's my assignment. It's just, a, like I said, I'm a wordsmith, so that's the, way, that's the way it goes, you know? So when I'm finished, by the time they, if, where they get to, wherever they get to, I'll finish the poem, then I'll have it, and maybe I'll send it to them. I'll probably send it to them, see what happens, you know? Because I'm not too interested in I don't worry about it, you know. Uh, but coming back, several things have done several things. Have. One thing happened. I just want to talk about one tiny thing. It's interesting. Um, I read a headline someplace. Uh, Bill Cosby was interviewed in jail by a black, uh, a, 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 well, they say it's a black concern. I don't know if they're black owned, but at least it was a black something. Right? And he said, he ain't going to show no remorse or anything like that. Now, when this thing first went down with Bill Cosby, I basically said, I said, look, there's the, the court of public opinion. There's the court and there's karma, right? That's all I said, right? That's my whole thing. Now, I want to say uh, right now, I want to say 
comma. What, what he said in jail, he's having a grand time in jail. He's, he's like a penthouse jail, whatever. But he's doing lectures there. You know, he's he's, 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 he's engaged in the prison. This is karma. This is what karma is about. Forget all that other stuff. Whatever got him here right now, at his age anyway, blah, blah, blah. He's got more sensitivity to, to women, whatever. I believe in Bill Cosby. Okay, don't get me wrong. I grew up as I grew up with Duke. I know Bill comes from the beginning with the go kart thing and all the rest of that stuff. You know that that whole thing about the the, the Spanish fly. I, I think the joke is taken out of context. You know, you have to understand the times that he went through. Plus, he's a cancer. He's a cancer three. You know, twelfth of July. So I, I understand because I'm a cancer three too. So my point really is that in fact, the most courageous thing aside from his his, his work, some, some you know he works in the black black causes, whatever have you, but. He says one day, he said he didn't want to take no more awards because they're not that he was bogus, but you know, after I have the same thing, after you get a few awards or you, or you, or you have an accomplishment, you know what I mean? Who, why are they giving you this award? So they can pimp you. Well, that's my, I'm not saying he said that, but that's what I said. So anyway, so I just wanted to just, just lay all that stuff, all this stuff that's happening. I had a really interesting uh, train ride. I talked to some people, and I talked. There's one thing my my my, my best friend uh, JB said when I stayed him uh, there, stay with him there. Uh, he said something. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get this right, but you know, I, I was I was saying, you know, because I, I direct theater rarely, <laughs> because directed theater. Hey, yeah, when I direct theater, I'm a real theater director. I'm like a tyrant. I wouldn't work for me. I'm just like take over. That's why I do audio drama because then I'm a nice guy. I just audio drama is just nice for me. I'm just whoa, 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 whoa. You know. Uh, but I also um, and I love the technical part. In fact, when I direct theater, I, I, I hang out with the technicians a lot. You know what I mean? The, the, the uh, set designers and the lighting design, especially because I've got my first thing with lighting in theater, uh, professional theater. I'm talking about uh, and and stage managers, of course. You know, I'm, I'm into them. Um, but I don't act. I don't like. I shouldn't say I don't like to act. I don't act. And I think because, you know, acting takes a whole other head and, and changing space or whatever. And when I deal with actors in theater, especially, I go like, oh, man, oh, man. it's like it's work. It's really, really work. But I'm trying to figure out a reason why I don't I don't really act. And then my first friend said, oh, it's because you uh, you enjoy yourself too much. I had to think about that. You know, remember, he's known me since the, since the early 70s. So it's like. And he's, you know, the best man of our wedding and all the rest of that stuff. So he really knows me. A lot of my, a lot of the times, like with my fraternity brother here, with with other people like like Melvin, a lot of people that know me for a long time. I, I, it's a different thing. You you remember certain things, whatever have you. But when I think about that, I think what happens is like I always tell people, my glass is three quarters full. And I think what happens when you get depression and stuff like that is because you you're wavering. You know what I mean? You don't you don't enjoy yourself. You know what I mean? So I enjoy myself immensely, whatever I'm doing. I'm in the drudges of the drudges. I enjoy wherever I am at. Train ride, I'm enjoying the train ride. There's all kinds of jobs. There was an Italian couple, or at least one spoken. Yeah, I think they were Italian couple. When I learned, this is a stereotype, but when I traveled a long, long time ago, right? Anytime you had a Italian couple that's traveled for a, a, a long, a long period, a long period of time, they argue, and this, these they were going at it. That was that was strange. Right. Um, anyway, I'm rambling though, so let me just stop here, just to say, don't worry, I catch the river, whatever have you. I'm gonna catch the game right now because I, I have an assignment. I told you, I'm writing this poem. I'm, I'm, I'm rather, I'm reworking, you know, uh, the, the Edgar Allan Poe's, the, the, you know, The Raven, you know, the, the Nevermore. I'm going to say Evermore. But the point is, I'm working, I'm reworking this thing. So it's just an assignment. <laughs> don't keep mad at me. I'll, I'm, I'll check out of that. Don't worry about it. Okay? So this is just me. T, from the Patterson's taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect on this Monday night after I got back and I'm going down to Virginia in a couple of days and I got to get them to my brother. Then I come back up here. Then I go to Africa. Hey! <laughs>